Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today, if you couldn't tell by the title already, we are going to be setting up my binder for Wano's Comeback, Love Synonym Part 2. Um, I am so excited for this. As soon as he announced it, I was planning on buying and then within, I want to say they announced it one day and the next day, all of the albums went up for sale. So I bought 15 copies. <laughs> We're not going to talk about it. Um, I bought 12, uh, 12 copies from G Market, um, since that's where you um, could get the um, ticket pre-order benefits if you ordered from there. And then I ordered three copies from K-Town, so that way I would get all of their photo cards. So speaking of pre-order benefits, right now they've only announced two places where they'll be giving out pre-order benefits. One is through either, you know, um, Highlines Market, um, which is through G Market for international. Um, they have two um, different pre-orders they're doing. There's a folding poster if you buy a set of the album. So you buy all three as a set and you get the folding poster. And then they have the individual tickets. There's six different ones and you only get those if you buy single albums. So buying three single albums won't get you fold the folding poster and buying a set of three won't get you three tickets. So you have to buy one or the other. So I bought 12 individual albums. So I'll have multiple tickets. Um, of multiple tickets then. Um, I wasn't so keen on collecting the folding poster, which is why I didn't buy a set. Um, and then from K-Town For You, they have three different photo cards that you can get with the pre-orders, so that's why I ordered three different versions. And for K-Town For You, if you just go through the normal way, you can only buy, at least the last time I checked, which was a couple days ago at this point, you could only buy the single albums as a random version, or you could buy just a set of them. But there were some fan, I forget what they're called exactly, but there are some links that I found on Twitter, um, thanks to another user on Instagram who let me know about it. Um, so I'll link that one down below. But if you go through those links, the albums are actually slightly cheaper and you can pick which version you're buying as a single album. So that's kind of nice. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into it. So if I can figure out how to do it, I'll put a little thing on the screen to talk about all the different inclusions that the album comes with. All right, so I actually pulled the template up on my other phone. So as you can see, I'm hoping you can kind of see this well, there are three different versions of the album and they're not in bags this time, which is great. It looks like they kind of have like the fold out front that's like a little mini poster there, but doesn't actually disconnect from the album. So that's really cool. So we have three different versions of the album, then the photo cards. So there are three different sets of photo cards, six for each version. Um, so there's 18 in total. I bought 15 albums, so that way I wouldn't have to buy as many photo cards, hopefully. I'm actually hoping that with the extra tickets that I get from the G Market sale, since I bought 12 and there's only six, I'll have six extra. So that will actually hopefully help me be able to trade for some photo cards that I'm missing too. Um, and then you also get the... A random sticker set which if you know me I don't really care about the sticker sets um, so that's what comes standard in all of the albums is you know the CD photo cards and the st sticker sets and then for the first press albums um, there's this four cut photo it looks like there's just one per album so it doesn't look like that's random this time um, there there's uh, reminiscent of the film cards you had in his last one but it looks like they're just four panel this time and there's only three of them um, and then there's these paper ornaments um, it looks like they pop out. I don't know how big they are. It's kind of hard to tell with the dimensions because the dimensions are just like for the whole sheet. But if they will fit into nine pockets, um, if they'll fit into nine pocket spaces, I'll probably end up putting them in a nine pocket holder. But I didn't bring one up just because I'm not going to know until I get them. Um, and then there's the bookmarks. There's nine in total, but there's three for, or no, there's six in total, two for each album. So these, I think are a little too big to fit into six pocket pages so I'm going to end up putting them into three pocket pages I don't have any on hand right now I'm waiting for those to come in and then the scratch cards I don't know if I'm going to keep those or not I didn't bring a page up to put them in so I'll probably just put them in their own sleeve to be honest we'll see um so then that's it and that's and then the pre-order benefits are um different from that so yeah so that's where we're at. So let's go ahead and get started. I did go ahead and write through. These are just penny sleeves because I ran out of my clear ones that I usually store my pho uh, photo cards in. These are for all the album versions and then also the K-Town ones. Um, so I actually went through and redid my Wano section. I don't know if I mentioned it in any of the videos that I posted recently, but I wanted to go through and redo his section because it was kind of not 
like organized well I never really um, laid out his um, stuff to begin with so I do have it now I have everything stuck on with washi tape because um, I ran out of sleeves so what I ended up doing is this was the first uh, version one of his uh, first full-length album so what I ended up doing was um, in I'm assuming that this this new album is gonna be the same there were like there were six photo cards from the first one and there were pairs that were the same so I just did them the same down here so like there were two in this purple this purple um, top two in this top and then two in the other one and then the K-Town cards this is one of the K-Town cards they all matched one of the outfits from each of the versions so I whatever one they fit in like whichever ones they matched with because like these two were from the albums but this was the K-Town one and you see he's clearly wearing the same shirt same for this one um so I just put them in the middle that whole set in the middle so that's probably what I'm going to do for this album then as well um and then I have all of his postcards back here and the film cards so we're just going to start right behind the old one the old one his first album we're going to start right behind there so I brought up three nine pocket pages because that is what we will need. So let me go ahead and put those in. All right. And so they're just going to go in the same order. What I'm going to do, I don't know what the photo cards look like, obviously, because nothing has been released yet. Um, so I am just going to, um, I just put version one, photo card one, and then it has PC one, two, three, four, five, and six. Obviously, that doesn't mean anything until more stuff is released, but that's how it's going to go. So, just to show really quick, doing it like this, five, six, and then we will do K-Town photo card one. Um, and if the K-Town cards end up not matching any of the, like, sets, like, I don't know why they wouldn't. I feel like it's going to be the same thing as last time, but if for whatever reason they don't end up matching then I will just go ahead and put them on their own page and figure out what to do with it so I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these in and I'm just going to go ahead and speed it up so that way um it doesn't take so long because I feel like these penny sleeves are gonna be kind of, sorry I feel like these penny sleeves are gonna be kind of hard to get into these sleeves so yeah I'm just gonna speed it up <laughs>
everything kind of started to change on me there at the end, so I had to go close my blind. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if you noticed, but I lost a, a sleeve somewhere along the way. Um, I wrote everything down outside or out in my living room and then brought it back here. So I'm thinking that might have been it. Uh, might have been why. But anyway, <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the last, the other sleeves that I brought up um, for this layout in here real quick. I also apologize if as I'm going you see any dog hair. Um, my dog sleeps in, uh, she sleeps with me and she's allowed to sleep in the bed with me. So she does every night, and so my my room becomes the most hair infested one. So there's usually hair all over these. Um, I do kind of I clean them off when I'm actually putting stuff in them. So, but I just wanted to apologize if you ever see them. There's usually not too many. It's just like one or two. But because I just had these sitting on my floor, <laughs> there might be some more on these ones. So one of his album releases, I believe, on the 26th. So I've definitely got plenty of time to wait. But I just wanted to get on it because I'm excited about it. And of course, like the day after Wano announced his um, comeback, AT has also announced their comeback. I think I'm just going to join- I did join one group order already, um, and I'm just getting one of each version from them. Um, the deal was pretty good um, for- uh, it was like 20 bucks an album and that included the EMS, which is nice. Oh, my pocket's a little- ruined but we'll, we'll go with it for now because I don't have any more up here um so I did join one I'm thinking about joining another one because the one I joined was for the MMT pre-order benefit cards um and then the other one I found is also a good price and it's for um the K-Town ones I just don't know I think I have decided I'm going to collect Wu instead of Songwa since I do have a lot of his cards and actually Wu was my first bias in ATs and then it was Hongjun and then Songwa snuck up there but I think I'm making my round back to Wu, and I think I would enjoy collecting him a lot more. So that's where I'm at with that. Um, but Hong Jun is definitely my first priority. Um, but circling back to Wano real quick. So these are going to be for the G Market tickets. So I'm just going to go ahead and write it on a sticky note. And the sticky notes don't really stick to these pages, so I did bring some tape up so I can tape it down. So, so I'm just going to put pre-order benefit ticket one. And I will do them double-sided then, too. Um, so yeah, I'm not- I'm also just like, I don't know, I used- I was really into ATs when I first discovered them, and I feel like I've fallen out a little bit, but I still enjoy collecting Hongjun at least, so we'll still do that. Um, and... I am also announced his first solo album, um, Albert <laughs> album. I am low key, high key, very glad it's just a digital album because my wallet this month between Wano and ATs's comeback is not great. And then I also discovered Dreamcatcher recently, so I ordered a copy of each of their most recent album. Um, and I actually found um, a website that had some of their limited ones too, so I ordered two of those. Because for Dreamcatcher, I'm definitely collecting two people now. I'm definitely collecting Xi'an. And I keep going back and forth between Sua and Dami. <sighs> yeah. Sua is like an ace and her personality is so adorable. But Dami, she's just so chill and laid back. I don't know. And I cannot, I cannot. I have to be more strict with with my collection because I cannot afford to collect more than two members from Dreamcatcher right now. Maybe in the future, but for right now I can't. And I was also like, well maybe Guyon, Guyon, because she's just adorable. Little Make. But yeah, I cannot. I can't. I can't. So Guyon and Dami may... Yeah, I think it's also going to depend on who I pull, just to be frank. Um, in my albums, if I pull Dami, then I guess I'll collect Dami. If I pull Sua, I guess I'll do Sua. If I pull, pull an equal amount of both, then I'm just gonna have to figure it out. <laughs> um, so yeah. And then for postcards, I believe there are five postcards, too. So um, I have three pocket pages here. They should fit in these. And I'm just gonna do, I don't like double-siding these, so we're gonna do three and then two. 
and we'll call it a di or is there four this time let me look at the template because i actually do not remember so i think i'm actually going to use this for the four cut photo i don't know if they'll fit in three pocket pages but there's three of them so i'm just going to call it a film photo we'll do one two and three I guess I just always assume that they do postcards because like most, like Monster X always did, he did them for the last one. I feel like most albums come with a postcard these days. I'm not necessarily mad about it. Maybe I'll be wrong and I'll get my albums and then they'll be there and then I'll have to rearrange things, but yeah, I don't think there are. Um, <laughs> And then I think I asked, so I don't actually need that one. But then I do have a two pocket page back here because I think I brought the two pocket page up originally for these. But yeah, so that's it for the setup. Wow, that was much faster than I thought. So I have these two extra pages in here just in case I need them. Or three because I brought two two pocket pages. The two pocket pages will be in case the film cards don't fit in here. I just don't know. I think by the dimensions they might. I'm not entirely sure. So yeah, so just to recap, you've got all the version one photo cards on one page with the K-Town one that corresponds in the middle. Again, I'm just assuming the K-Town one will correspond. And uh, then we got version two, version three, the ticket cards, front and back, and then the film cards or the film photo things. Um, and then when I get my three pocket pages, I will put them, I'll probably put them right in, on top of here for the bookmarks. And that's the only thing I'm missing. Um, and then the paper ornaments, we'll see what that's like when they get here. Um, if they pop out and fit into nine pocket pages, well, I'll just put them um, right behind version three in front of the tickets. If not, they'll most likely go into pocket pages at the end, and I'll just leave them in there. So yeah, that is it for my setup, my binder for Wano's Comeback. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what song you are looking forward to the most. I'm so excited Flash is going to have to be on the album. And I'm actually really excited for Devil. I've heard Wanho talking about it a lot, so I'm interested to see all the hard work that he's put into this, that song and the album as a whole. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, so I just wanna throw this clip in here real quick because of course, like two days after I finished filming, all my stuff came in so i ended up actually swapping these out i took the penny sleeves out and put in the actual thick sleeves that i store my cards in and then i did get the white cards that i got for filler in here i was debating whether or not i wanted to do blue but since he's in the black binder with monsta x i thought blue would look a little weird so i decided to go with white because i feel like it'll fit this theme best and then i feel like white's a pretty good color to use for anything going forward so and it makes it so that he's not the exact same as monsta x anymore <laughs> So we have the version one photo card page, version two, and version three. And I don't know if I actually mentioned this in when I filmed this last video, because I think it happened after, or the last clips, but um, I did actually join a group order for two of the My Music Taste albums because they he announced a couple days after I think I filmed the first clips that um, they were going to have two pre-order benefit cards. So I did join someone else's um, group order to get that. So now I'm up to... <laughs> 17 out of the 18 necessary to collect all the photo cards. I should have just done did the third one, but I just didn't want um, to do too much. And the group order I joined is really great. It was only one payment that covered the album, EMS, and domestics. So one payment for everything, and it was only $18 an album, which really isn't bad. And the person also had, I believe, the option to just uh, pay for... The my music taste cards if you wanted to um and maybe even the inclusions but i think it was like 16 dollars if you just wanted an album for the my music taste photo card which really isn't bad considering they're fronting the cost of the whole album just to get you a pre-order benefit card so i think that's pretty cool if i re uh, remember to i will put their um instagram handle on the screen so you can go check it out i believe it is still open um so yeah so then this is the version three page these are for the g market tickets and then I did get six pocket sleeves, and when I was looking on the, like, picture that shows you all the items that are included, it looked like they're about the same size as the Monsta X um, index cards and for from Fatal Love. And for reference, 
because I was able to update them. This is what they look like on a page. So they like just fit tallways. They do stick out a little bit, um, but they fit perfectly like width wise. And the bookmarks from Wano's album, they're the same width, but they are a few mil millimeters taller. So I'm going to have to see how far out they stick from the top. If they stick up too far, especially on the top row, I am going to switch this over to a three pocket page instead um, and just call it a day. But for right now, I have the six pocket page in here. And then I do still have the three pocket page for those um, like film cards, like four cut film cards um, or film photos. Um, if they don't fit in here, I did leave a two pocket um two two pocket pages back here just in case um so yeah so that's the finalized setup for wano's next comeback i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye